I'm Tim Mulhelp with your Sports Flash on the 20s. The Yankees took their commitment to blood and sweat literally in their contest against the Twins Monday night. In the top of the second, a scary moment for all as former Yankee Eduardo Nunez hit Yank starter Brian Mitchell in the face with a line drive. Mitchell was visibly bleeding, but the righty was able to walk off with minimal assistance. Skipper Joe Girardi on his wounded hurler. He's really fortunate that he just has a small fracture in his nose, a concussion, and uh, you know a little bit of a black eye, but uh, he shouldn't be out too long, we hope. Things got worse for the Yankees when Mark Teixeira left the contest in the sixth inning after fouling a ball off his right shin. He will undergo further evaluation later today. A bases loaded chase headley grounder was misplayed by Eduardo Nunez in the 10th, leading to the Yankees' walk-off win. With the W, the Yanks improved their lead on the AL East to a full game. From the wounded Bronx to the mending flushing, David Wright's comeback finally gained some clarity as reports have surfaced that the first-place Mets are eyeing next week's series with Atlanta as a viable date of return. Entering the new week, Giants fans, fantasy football owners, and Eli Manning are celebrating. Following his first full practice of training camp Monday, the Giants receiver Victor Cruz says he's 100%. It's been 10 months since I've been, since I've been out there. Uh, game speed, game time. So that'll be the only adjustment is getting used to that game speed again. The six-year veteran rejoins a loaded big blue offense that will face off against the Jaguars Saturday. It's unclear if Cruz will play. Jets off Monday. They'll take on the Falcons at MetLife 730 on Friday night. With your sports flash on the 20s every 20, I'm Tim Mulhept.